Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So as you saw, I'm coming back to you with a Bath & Body Works SAS haul. Um, just before we get started, this is probably going to be my last SAS haul. I'm not positive, but for sure I'm going to be on like a no buy for the next two weeks because the amount of stuff I've purchased not just from like Bath and Body Works, but in general over the last week, I need to like cool it. So I definitely am going to probably like for sure the next two weeks, no buy. Don't know if it will go longer. Um, I have one more coupon for Bath and Body Works that expires the 13th. I don't know how long SAS will last, um, but maybe if it is like going past like at least the 10th of July. Um, maybe I'll stop in and see if they have any like leftovers or really good markdowns. Um, otherwise, worst case, I'll just like post my coupon if someone else wants to use it, not a big deal. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so I really wasn't planning to do any more SAS shopping like yet, but here's the deal. In case no one else has told you, um, I'm sure Bath & Body Works doesn't really want you to know this, so you didn't hear it from me. But if you have a physical coupon that you like bring to the store and scan, um, if you keep the code on the back, like I just take a picture of the coupon. So even if I've already used it at the store, I still have the back of it. You can use that code online, even though you've used the coupon in the store. I don't know like does it work vice versa if you use the code first and you go in store does it not work i have no idea all i know is two at least two times i've used my physical coupon in the store and i've at home later on <laughs> online used the same code from the coupon to use the discount online so basically like double dipping for the coupon i've heard, i swear i heard someone else say it so i tried it and it's worked twice so just fyi like i said though bath and body works probably doesn't want you to know that but also the awesome part about it, I used the coupon online, but I did the online pickup in store. So I didn't even pay shipping on top of it. So basically for the most part, I got to use my coupon two times shopping at the store. I think it's a pretty good deal. So basically um, I ended up using my coupon and purchasing, like doing an online order and then picking it up at the store. And then also while I was at the store, I got a few extra things as well. So let's just start with the items I purchased online. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm freaking obsessed with the wallflowers lately. I don't know why, I just have been. So I got seven wallflowers to start that I'm gonna share with you. And I know some people, mm, I don't have my receipt. I know some people are like, the wallflowers are not a good deal at the 350, but I use a 10 off 40. So I think it makes them like 256 or something. And tell me when you're gonna get a wallflower 256. Never. Like they're the best deal they run is like 395 and you hope you have a 20% off coupon. So personally for me, I have entertained this sale with the coupons I have had. I don't know that it would be worth it to me to just like go in and buy wallflowers without the coupon. But with the coupon I've been having a great time so anyway let's get into the wallflowers i picked up the first one's boardwalk vanilla cone i already have this one but i got another and the notes are marshmallow fluff vanilla bean and creamy caramel i don't know that this is going to be like a super strong performer but it's just like such a good vanilla scent which i like to kind of mix in between my other scents to like balance them out you know it's not like five strong scents in a row that type of thing uh the next one also another repurchase is aloha kiwi passion fruit been obsessed with this scent this summer. It's tropical passion fruit, radiant kiwi, juicy pineapple. I don't know why I hadn't discovered this sooner. I think I thought it was the same as the passion fruit and banana flower body care, which I did not like. This has the kiwi and the kiwi is the like breaking point. It makes it so much better. It's so good. It's just such a nice like fruity tropical scent without being like a pineapple or a coconut 
not that I don't love those things because I do, but it's just different and I like that. Um, to prove how much I am obsessed with coconut, I got two more coconut lime breeze. I already had one. Did I need two more? No. The notes on this are zesty lime, lemon, verbena, and sheer coconut. Sometimes coconut scents aren't that strong. I think the lime in this makes the difference. I think the lime makes it stronger because, you know, citrus scents typically are stronger. Um, I'm excited about that. Yes, I bought two more. I don't think I intentionally bought two, but when you log into your account at Bath & Body Works, it like keeps things that are in your cart. And so I think I already had one in my cart or like I had these seven wallflowers or whatever in my cart. And I think I didn't realize I had the two coconut lime breeze. I probably would have got a different one but I'm not complaining, it's fine. Um, and then the last three are actually new to me. So the first one I got is Mahogany Coconut. I've never had this. I think we smelled it in store. I think either this will be great in Corey's room or more of like the bedroom. The notes are Creamy Coconut, Mahogany Woods, and English Lavender. I mean, just because it has the mahogany to begin with makes it more of a manly. I get the hint of lavender though. I feel like in the tester candle, the coconut came out more. So I hope when this is actually like going, the coconut comes out more. Um, sometimes those are nice though, just to like mix in, like I said, to have different scents in between, like the same old thing running through your wallflowers. It's nice to mix it up. So I may do it in like, you know, the open space, like I do all my others. Worst case, I'll put it in Corey's office. He probably won't care. <laughs> um, and then next I got Peach Bellini. I've never had Peach Bellini before, if you can believe that. Um, I know, crazy. The notes are succulent, white peach, sparkling Prosecco, and sweet orange. I decided just to give this one a try. I mean, I don't know. I'm not like overly a peach fan, but I feel like this is just a classic that it, like, how can I not try it? You know what I mean? And it really just smells like peach, to be honest. Um, once again, I think this is a nice one to just like have. It's just like a standard scent. <laughs> so I was gonna give it a try. And then the last one I got is Island Margarita. So the notes on this one are sweet mandarin, island mango, and sea salt. If you guys didn't hear the story, um, the original trip I made into SAS, my mom made me a list of wallflowers that she wanted. And so we were picking them up. She wrote this down to try. And I was just like, I mean, I've had Island I don't think I've had the body care or have I? I know what it smelled like. I mean, margarita basically. And so my mom is very much like a basic Betty, vanilla bean, um, like vanilla based cupcake, those types of scents. And so when she had this written down, I was just like, oh my gosh, Corey, Corey went with me. I was like, she has this written down, but I really don't think she's going to like it. Like, I don't know if I want to buy this and then she hates it, you know, even though she basically had it on her list. And Corey was like, well, she has it on her list. Why don't we just follow her list and like buy what she said she wanted to get? <laughs> so I was like, okay, if you say, but like, I'm just really nervous because this is very much out of her wheelhouse. Like, I just don't know what to do. So we bought it and I gave her the wallflowers or whatever. And then a couple days later, she came back and told me and she was like, oh my God, because I don't know if we were chatting about it or if she just brought it up or what, but um, she was like, oh my gosh, me and like my dad. So like at home, she was like, me and your dad completely love the Island Margarita. She's like, it's so good. Even like my dad had made a comment like, this is the best scent ever. Oh my gosh, why don't we have more of this, blah, blah, blah. And so I was just like, wait, what? Like for real, I, it was totally unexpected. So basically after that point, I was like, I think I need to get an island margarita because I'm pretty open with scent. Like I can pretty much make anything work to be honest. And if she is like so in her ways with scent and they loved it both, I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it a shot. So here I am, I bought an island margarita. I'm gonna try it. Um, I feel like to me, it basically smells like a margarita. It maybe has a little bit more like orange in there than I would typically think of when I think of a margarita. But it's basically just like lime and salt with a hint of orange. I'm really excited to see how it does. Just based upon like how much they, how excited she made it sound like they were about it. it I don't know, I was intrigued. So 
also the day I placed this order, they were having the 1195 candles. I don't know when this goes up, if that will still be going on. I'm not entirely positive, but because I had to get to $40, you know, to use my coupon, I went ahead and purchased the candle Flamingo Beach. I essentially got this because Mr. Kong's mom, Melanie, had said that this is very similar to Yankee Candle Pink Sands, which is like one of my OG scents. So I basically have not smelled this. I just went for it. Uh, worst case, I knew I could exchange it, but with Melanie saying it was similar to Pink Sands, I just basically went for it. The notes are pink summer berries, juicy orange, and dewy white petals. I really had no intention of buying this before Melanie had said that. Like I really, it didn't catch my eye. However, Mr. Kong's mom, Melanie, is correct. It really does smell like Pink Sands. Is it a dead on dupe? Probably not. Also, I have not burned it. Clearly, I just bought it. But it smells really, really similar. So I am actually excited. I took the plunge and got it. Also, I'm pretty sure Melanie said this is like a staple, like it comes back a lot. So I'm surprised I had never smelled it. But yes, I'm excited. I got this one. And then also there were some soaps on sale for $3. So I picked one up in Boardwalk Vanilla Cone and I picked up the Gentle Gel. I realize I've been having a problem with my hands getting so dry and literally like peeling. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but basically I've come to the conclusion that it's from the foaming hand soaps, but <laughs> I love the foaming hand soaps. I'm not gonna give up my foaming hand soaps just because I feel like my hands are getting extra dry. However, I feel like when I use, like when I mix in more gel hand soaps, I don't have a problem. So like say, you know, I like use whatever, the foaming hand soap five times a day and I use the gel like a couple times in between those, I feel like it's not as bad. I don't know if that's just my mind or if that's like it's because it's not so harsh <laughs> i don't really know what the deal is but i thought i would just pick up one of these and i know i love this boardwalk vanilla cone it's just like a basic vanilla scent the notes are marshmallow fluff vanilla bean creamy caramel same as the wallflower um but basically my thought was i could mix in some of these i already have some gel soaps I do have some Scentsy like gel soaps I made into foaming, but those ones aren't as harsh. Um, so I kind of have been just like trying to mix things in. And since this one's on sale for $3, I figured I would give it a go to do that same type of situation with. Basically, I plan to just have like one gel soap out of our four sinks and like that should suffice. And then we have one at work and I have a foaming at work. So yeah. Um, and then I literally needed a dollar to get me over the like hump to get to, um, I think it was at 39 and I had to get to 40. So I was like, oh crap, what the heck am I gonna buy? Like, what are they gonna have on here that's gonna be a dollar? I kid you not, I was just kind of like looking around. I think I went to the SAS and did like sort by lowest price to highest because I was like, I'm gonna see what's the lowest, you know? And they actually had something on there with, that was like a dollar and some change. This was maybe like a dollar thirty. It was the pump hand sanitizer in the, it was just unscented. But I mean, this is 7.6 fluid ounces. I don't really care that it's unscented. I think sometimes that's better, like depending where you have it. Um, but this was like a dollar thirty. And then after my coupon, I think it ended up being like 78 cents. Like what a steal for this. So I'm really, I mean, the original price is 550. And like I said, I think I paid 78 cents. I thought that was such a steal. I could not believe they had this marked down so low. Even at the store when I went in, they had these marked down. I do, however, think it is because they're unscented and I don't think people go to Bath and Body Works looking for unscented things because it's like a fragrance store. So I think these probably didn't do very well and that's probably why they're marked down. But honestly, this is huge. Like I right now I have in my car, just like cup holder, one of these, just like a Purell brand or something, which is obviously unscented. So I'll probably just replace it with this when that's done. Um, and then I obviously still have like my pocket backs and stuff. So I could not believe that that was like, you know, just enough to get me over the hump. Like I said, it ended up only being 78 cents. It was great. So then when I went to the store, 
uh, to pick up these things. I was like, I'm just gonna browse and see what I can find, see if they had any more 75% off things. And so that is what I did. So they actually did have a couple more 75 off um, items. My first time we went the first day, they had about dang near nothing. Like it was so bad, the selection of what they had. So they actually had a few things that I grabbed. The first is coconut pineapple in the body wash. This was $3.37. I have the spray and the body cream, so I thought for $3, I mean, come on, you can't beat it. So the notes on this are shaved coconut, fresh pineapple, sugar cane. It is the best scent. I freaking love it. It's literally just like coconut and pineapple. So when I saw they had this, I had to grab it. Um, and then also from that 75 off table, I picked up a fine fragrance mist in champagne, apple, and honey. This ended up being 387. So normal price, 1550, not a bad deal. This is like kind of a summer into fall, like transition scent for me. However, I don't have any other body care in this but I think this is gonna be a nice one I could just like take to work to refresh during the day. I currently don't have any there like that and I have found myself multiple days like in the middle of the afternoon or like right after lunch if we like go outside and sit on the picnic table or walk around the block like you kind of get you know that summer heat you're just like wow I wish I could just like freshen up. Um, and while I have like a backup deodorant and stuff like that at work, I didn't have any like sprays or anything to actually like do a refresh. So I think I might bring this one there just because it is really nice. And it's kind of just like apple-y and it has that like slight effervescence. The notes are pink lady apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine, honey, and autumn woods. Though it is kind of like a spring to fall or a summer to fall transition for me, I think it'll be really nice for that. I don't know. And it'll kind of maybe slightly scratch my itch for wanting to get into fall scents, <laughs> even though it's not July yet. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm ready. Um, but I do want to continue to enjoy the summer scents, so I'm really conflicted. And then I ended up actually buying two candles because when I went, the $11.95 candle sale was still going on. Is that the price, best price for candles? No, but whatever. I mean, it is what it is. So the first one I actually ended up getting was the mint chocolate chip milkshake. It had the dust covers on them, which I feel like it's kind of hard to smell through them. I had originally smelled this in the store and I was like, this smells like nothing. I feel like now that I've gotten it home and like taken this off and like really gotten into it, I feel like I get more out of it. The notes are... Vanilla mint ice cream, chunky chocolate chips, and whipped cream. It really just smells like a vanilla mint type of, like, I, I like it. I don't feel like the mint's too offensive. Um, they had an issue with the lids, and that's why there's not lids on these. Something was happening with, like, that rubbery part in there that was making them smell almost, like, fishy. And I can confirm because I picked up a strawberry pound cake candle and smelled it and it had that fishy smell. But once you like got into the candle, it wasn't there. But someone had mentioned it was an issue with the lids and that's why majority of these didn't have lids. However, when I went to the checkout, they were like, do you want a lid? And I was like, sure. And they gave me one. And I don't feel like this lid smells weird. So I don't know if they like took that off a different candle or, or if they just like got better lids and they had them in the back, they didn't want to put them on. I don't really know, but the person checking me out was just like, do you want a lid? Cause obviously this only has a dust cover. And I was like, if you have extra, sure, I'll take one. And they put one up. So I don't really know what the story is. There you have it. And then I actually ended up getting one more candle. Um, I ended up getting the, this was from the Mother's Day. It's, it's kind of like shiny. It's the Madre All Day, which is the watermelon lemonade. Um, I'm not a mom, but I just thought this was really cute and I didn't realize how good this candle smelled. It's freaking awesome. So I actually ended up picking this up. Um, yeah, if someone sees this and is like, what? They, they might just be like, are you trying to tell us something? I'll be like, no, I just like the scent of this candle. Um, and I don't feel like my mom would like this. Also, she would probably be like, what does this mean? Like she probably wouldn't get it. So I'm just gonna keep it for myself. And I'll probably, I, all my candles, I typically put in some kind of like candle holder. So I, I feel like I'm making it more complicated than it is. It'll be fine, no one will care. Even though it 
you know, it's for Mother's Day. Um, the notes are watermelon ice, sparkling water, and mayor lemon. I do have to say the notes on this, sparkling water, do they mean like an effervescent, like bubbly water? Um, watermelon ice, I mean, I get the lemon. I don't know, it literally smells like watermelon lemonade. Sometimes the notes they put on these things are just ridiculous. Um, but the lid is also really cute, so yeah. I don't know, this is a jar I could see myself keeping, even though I always say that and I never have any purpose for the jars, so anyway. That is everything that I picked up, combination online pickup in store and then just actually walking through the store. Like I said, don't know <laughs> if I will be back before the end of SAS just because I need to be on a low buy for at least two weeks. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.